Sorely. In today's video, I want to cover how you can easily generate an activity history report and how you can export that data for your records. Now, there's a few different things to know about activity history before we dive into these reports. First and foremost, you can get activity history for a folder or for an item, and you can also see activity history for your entire account. So depending on what data you're looking for specifically, you can de generally generate these type of reports for any single item, folder, or account wide. Now one thing to note is that anytime you create an activity history, or an item rather, within the system, uh, every single event that occurs to that item from that point moving forward will be logged in the system. So there's a couple different ways for you to access the activity history report. If you're on an item or a folder, you can simply hover over that item or folder, click on the three dots, and you're going to see the opportunity to see the activity history. Now that activity history will just be for that item specifically. If you're viewing a folder, it's going to show you all the activity history that has occurred for that folder. So if the item has moved into that folder, if it's moved out of that folder, if there's been an adjustment to a quantity of an item in that folder, all of that data will be readily available to you. Now in this middle panel here, at the very bottom of the page, there is an option to see the history. This is going to show you the activity history for the entire account. So we'll be able to see every single transactional component that has occurred within the system. Now a couple high level things to look at here before we talk about the export portion. Uh, on the left hand side here, you're going to be able to see a date and timestamp. So everything that occurs within the software will be date and timestamp. So you'll have a real time record of the inventory transaction that occurs within the software. You're also going to be able to see the activity. So the activity could be a moving of an item, an update, a delete, a modification in terms of it was consumed uh, or sold. You'll be able to see that data here. You'll then see a short description. So it'll let you know the user who kind of made the description and what or made the, uh, the transaction and what that transaction was exactly. And then on the far right hand corner, you're going to be able to see the user who actually performed that action within the account. Now a couple other high level things here, so if you wanted to search for a specific user's activity, we can go in and type in a specific user and it's going to confirm all of the events that they have done specifically. We know this as we can see it in the description, but we also see on the user on the right hand side, it shows that user's initials. Another thing to highlight here is to the right of the search bar, you're actually able to see the slider wheel. Now this is going to pull out some filters and specifically what this is going to offer you the ability to do is filter based on some specific actions. So if there's certain in insights or actions that you don't wish to include within this report, feel free to uncheck them. Everything that is checked off is going to be included in that report. Anything that is currently unchecked will not be included in that report. There is also the opportunity here to filter the data based on a specific time period, so you can newest or oldest first. And of course, if you made any changes, apply those settings so that you can see the results based on those changes. Lastly, the last area here that I'll focus on is going to be the date parameter. So with activity history, you're going to be able to see all of the activity history that's occurred over a given period of time since the account was created. Now to keep in mind, we have eight preset options that you can select here, so from today all the way up to the last three months or last year but we also offer a custom date range. On this side of things, we allow you to go into the system and add a date parameter that you want to find within all of your activity for that specific parameter. So if there's some specific point in time where you see maybe there's an issue with an inventory quantity or something along those lines, you can go in and hone in on a specific period in time to really get that data that you're looking for. Again, once this data is updated and everything's been applied, you can go ahead and hit export here and it's going to download this into a CSV. Similar to previous reports, you're not going to have the opportunity to uh, choose the format or choose which fields you wish to include. Activity history is very uh, set in stone uh, as it stands now. So you're not able to modify this data until it is actually downloaded in that specific format. So do keep that in mind on your end. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, support at sortly.com. Thanks so much for watching.